Hey guys, Dad Williams here again with my high key advanced retouching DVD. I'm about to start my healing and for this I'm going to use a technique known as split frequency. I'm sure most of you know what split frequency is already, but for those of you who do not know, I'm going to show you guys. I'm using an 8-bit image and I'm only going to show you the settings for 8-bit images. To create a split frequency, you first need to create two duplicates of of the image, one for the high and one for the low. To do this, we hit Ctrl J twice. The next step is to group the both layers by selecting both layers and hitting Ctrl G. A split frequency basically makes a duplicate of the image, however, it separates the texture from the rest of the image. In this case, layer 1 copy is going to be our textured layer and layer 1 is going to contain everything else. The first step to creating the low is basically to blur the image. To do this, we go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. At this point, we want to blur the image until only the texture has gone. As you can see, at 20 pixels, there is no more texture and the image is still recognizable. So at this point, we hit OK. The next step is to select the top layer or layer 1 copy and to this layer, we are going to accurately restore the texture. To do this, we go to Image, Apply Image. The settings for source should remain the same. Layer should be layer 1. Channel should remain default. Blending mode should be subtract. Opacity should be at 100%. Preserve transparency and mask should remain unchecked. Scale must be set to 2. Offset must be set to 128 and invert must remain unchecked. At this point, we can click OK. At this point, we have the texture on one layer and everything else on the other layer. In order to see the details, we must set the high layer, or layer 1, to the blending mode linear light. Now we have a duplicate of the original. However, the texture is on one layer and the luminosity and color on a separate layer. So that's how you make a split frequency. You must always follow the exact settings and you will achieve the same result. Hope this was helpful. See you guys in the next video.